the time has come to dissect that table. If you know the mixing ratio, which is the specific humidity, of course, those two terms mean the same thing. You also know the dew point temperature. And if you know the saturation mixing ratio, you also know the air temperature. So mixing ratio is telling you how much water is actually in the air. Saturation mixing ratio is telling you how much water the air could hold if it was saturated. Now check this out. If you know the air temperature and you know how to use the table, you will also be able to figure out the saturation mixing ratio. And if you know the dew point temperature and you know how to use the table, you can also figure out mixing ratio. Remember the problem we had? Mixing ratio equals 3.5. Saturation mixing ratio equals 5.2. Right? That was the problem that we were working with. Let's take a look. So again, we saw this before. I circled the 3.5 in white and the 5.2 in red and the corresponding temperatures. So let's start with the 5.2. Remember, that is the saturation mixing ratio. And saturation mixing ratio corresponds with air temperature, which means this. If you know the SMR is 5.2, you also now know the air temperature is 40 degrees. And remember, mixing ratio is going to correspond with Dew point temperature, very good. So if we know the mixing ratio is 3.5 grams per kilogram, we also know using this graph that the dew point temperature is 30 degrees, okay? So that would mean this, that in order for that air to become saturated, the air temperature would have to drop down 10 degrees and go from 40 degrees down to 30 degrees. At that point, all the numbers would be the same. Let's try another one. Let's say that we knew that the air temperature was 70 degrees and the dew point temperature was 55 degrees. Okay, air temperature is 70 degrees, dew point temperature is 55 degrees. What is the saturation mixing ratio and what is the mixing ratio? Well, the mixing ratio would be 9.3 because it corresponds with that 55, the dew point temperature. And the saturation mixing ratio would be 15.6 because it corresponds with that 70 degrees. What would the relative humidity be? We take 9.3 divided by 15.6 equals 0.596 times 100 equals 59.6%. Let's try another one. Let's say that we knew that the air temperature was 45 degrees and the mixing ratio was 2.8 grams. If we know the air temperature is 45 degrees, what is the saturation mixing ratio? In other words, how much water could the air hold at 45 degrees? Answer is 6.2 grams. And if we knew the mixing ratio was 2.8 grams, what is the dew point temperature? 25 degrees. So how many degrees would the air need to cool in order for the air to become saturated? That 45 would have to cool down to 25, which is it would have to drop 20 degrees. Good. Wanna try one more? Let's say that we knew the dew point temperature was 35 degrees and the air temperature was 40 degrees. What is the SMR and the MR? The mixing ratio would be 4.3 and the saturation mixing ratio would be 5.2. You take 4.3 divided by 5.2. That would give you relative humidity. All right, we're going to apply this to this table. Take a look across the top. We have mixing ratio, temperature in Fahrenheit, saturation mixing ratio, and relative humidity. I'm going to do A and C with you right now. You are going to do B and D on your own. So let's start with A. Notice what you are given. You are given, given a mixing ratio of 2.8 and an air temperature of 30 degrees. Remember, air temperature corresponds to saturation mixing ratio. If you get the saturation mixing ratio in this problem, you just take the 2.8, divide by the SMR, 
that will give you relative humidity. Let's take a look at the table. So we know, take a look, air temperature is 30. I underline 30. What number does it correspond with, with the saturation mixing ratio? 3.5. So we would take that 3.5 and fill it in right there. And in order to get relative humidity, what do we do? We take 2.8 divided by 3.5 times 100 equals 80%. There we go. Now look at C. In C, the problem's mixed up a little bit, but you can do it. We have mixing ratio at 11.1 .1 and saturation mixing ratio at 13.2. Remember, saturation mixing ratio is going to give you air temperature. And then we're going to take 11.1 .1 divided by 13.2, and that will give us relative humidity. But first, let's get the air temperature. We go to the graph. We know we have an SMR of 13.2. I underlined it there. What number does it correspond with? 65. So what do we do? We're going to put the 65 where the air temperature is at, and then we take 11.1 .1 it by 13.2 times 100 is 84 or 84.1% 84 to be very specific. Okay.